Nowadays, video editing is an essential stage in video production, which has prompted the creation of several pieces of software that serve the same purpose. Some of these applications like DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere Pro are made particularly to do this function, while others like Unity can perform it but it's not their primary function. Yet the real question is, is using the Unity engine to edit films a good idea? Although Unity is mostly recognized for its extensive capacity to produce video games, it can also be used to create or edit films like any other program. This is feasible because Unity has all the essential features that every other editing program has, such as an interface that is simple and intuitive, a complete 2D and UI system, state-of-the-art animation and cinematography, a post-processing stack, an asset store to download any kind of plugin, smooth assets workflow like importing images, fonts, and videos, a scripting engine, and many others. To add a video clip to the Unity engine, first, place the video file in the Clips folder. To prevent any delays when recording, make sure Transcode is checked in in the Import options. Then, add a UI raw image where you want the video to be in your scene. Next, add a video script playable track to your timeline, as well as adding a video script playable asset by right-clicking on the track. Then, you may choose the video clip to be played, the raw image to play it on, and the looping and the audio settings, as well as chopping a few seconds off of the beginning and finish off the clip if you wish to. All of these options are available in the Inspector window. Additionally, Unity can export videos using the Unity Recorder, which is accessible through the Unity Package Manager. You can adjust the output resolution by selecting it in the Game View. It can also be used through its Editor window, however, using the timeline for video editing is more practical. Finally, Unity offers a component called Video Player that you can use to play existing videos. You can even render recordings into 3D objects by using render textures if you want to. However, you must use third-party solutions or components since Unity's Video Player is not natively compatible with Unity Recorder. In addition to that, video editing in the Unity game engine may be a very time-saving operation especially if the clips you're going to edit are exported from the engine as you can use them immediately without having to open another application. It also saves computational resources because only one program must be active for both tasks of exporting videos and editing them, which can be very helpful if you want to redo a particular clip or edit in general. Furthermore, the Unity Recorder package allows you to constrain Unity to render at the precise frame rate that you need for your video. If your machine is less powerful, the frames will simply render more slowly, but the results will still be flawless. In either case, there is no quality loss. Sometimes you could encounter issues or assets that are incompatible because Unity was not designed for video production. However, if you are producing animated movies and you're comfortable with this engine and like the asset workflow, I think it is a better choice to edit in Unity than spending hours attempting to learn a new piece of software. However, the game engine prioritizes creating as many frames as quickly as possible. This clearly shows that the frame rate is based on your machine's capacity. Low-end PCs may only be able to produce 10 frames per second, whereas high-end workstations can reach over 200 FPS. This results in longer export times than on other applications, as this engine is built to render the scene to be played on rather than capture it. That requires a lot more processing power compared to other software that has a specialized script that performs the same function with a lot less computational power. To conclude, while the Unity engine does include some video editing capabilities, this is mostly a secondary function, making it less sophisticated and possibly more difficult to learn and use at first than a program that is designed specifically for this purpose. And that is because it is a rather complicated piece of software with many capabilities. In contrast, a specialized video editing software is typically far more user-friendly, as well as because of its unusual methodology that differs much from that of standard video editing software. Unity Engine is less well-known when it comes to video editing, even though it's the capability of generating some high-quality footage. In the end, I believe learning how to edit videos with Unity is valuable because it can offer some beneficial learning experiences, especially if you use the scripted engine, but it's challenging. Other than that, it cannot be compared to other video editing software as they are much more professional, efficient, and affordable. 
Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment for any questions or suggestions.